Okay, hello and welcome to another live English lesson. Can you hear me? That's a great. That is so great. Okay, so today we are going to study a new unit. So, what is the title of lesson one? What do they do? And the title of the unit is... Hi, Yusuf. Okay. The title of the unit is Jobs. So, tell me what names of jobs do you know in English? You can write them. What names of jobs do you know in English? Give me examples. Oh, what is meant by a job? A job, it refers to those activities that people do to do what? To, to earn money, right? So, I want you to give me some examples of jobs in English, if you can. Can you? Oh, pharmacist. Yes, exactly. What else? What else? The other ones are sleeping. Okay, so here in lesson one, Dr. Oh, that's it. Good. Here in lesson one, we have certain jobs, title or names of jobs with their description. So now let us listen to the descriptions of these jobs and I want you to read them. I mean, uh, read them while you are listening to uh, these descriptions. So we can do another thing. Okay, take a listen. Unit 6, Lesson 1, Track 36, A. A businesswoman works in an office and runs a business. She is very good at working with money. B. A pilot flies a plane and takes people to different countries. He or she has to wear a uniform. C. An architect plans and designs buildings. He or she works in an office. D. A mechanic works in a workshop or a garage and repairs people's cars. E. An engineer works outside or in an office. He or she designs, builds or repairs machines, roads and bridges. F. A shop assistant works for a shopkeeper or shop owner. He or she helps customers, the people who want to buy things in the shop. G. A firefighter's job is very dangerous. He or she puts out fires and saves people. A firefighter has to wear special clothes. So now we have heard to the descriptions of these jobs, right? So now it asks you to match them to the pictures. We have pictures at the bottom of the page. So let's match the jobs to the pictures below. So uh, picture one, which is speaks about what? What do we have in picture one? What do we have in picture one? A mechanic. 
And which one a mechanic is D, right? So a mechanic works in a workshop or a garage and repairs people's cars, right? Now picture D, oh, sorry, picture two. Picture two should be matched with B, right? Which is pilot. And a pilot flies a plane and takes people to different countries. Sorry, everyone, I lost the connection. So, we were speaking about number two, and we said that number two is B, which is a pilot. And a pilot flies a plane and takes people to different countries. He or she has to wear a uniform. Now, number three. What is number three? Number three is D, which is a firefighter, yes. A firefighter's job is very dangerous. He or she puts out fires and saves people. A firefighter has to wear special clothes. Now, number four. Picture number four, it goes with businesswoman. So it goes with A. You don't have a problem listening to me, right? Do you have a problem listening, hearing me or? Okay. So, four, it goes with a businesswoman. And the businesswoman works in an office and runs a business. She is very good at working with money. Now, number five. What about number five? Number five, C. Number five is, or should be matched with C, which is an architect. An, arch an architect plans and designs buildings. He or she works in an office. Architect, yes. And now, four. What about four? Sorry, which four? I mean, six. Six, it goes with F, which is a shop assistant. And a shop assistant works for a shopkeeper or shop owner. He or she helps customers, the people who want to buy things in the shop. So he does not own the shop, but he works in it, right? And here, what is meant by a customer? Uh, customers are the people who want to buy things in the shop, right? Now, the last one in seven goes, of course, with what? With E, which is an engineer. And an engineer works outside or in an office he or she designs, builds, or repairs machines, roads, and bridges. All right. So here we have definitions of each job, right? Now I want you to describe each of these jobs. So as a homework, now as a homework, I want each one of you to choose three of these jobs that you find on page 
62 of lesson 1 of your student's book. Choose three jobs and describe them. I want you to make a voice recording of these descriptions and submit them to the assignment that I will post in your Google Classroom, okay? So do not read them. Try to speak and describe these jobs. Choose three. Every one of you should choose three jobs out of these and describe them and make a voice recording of your description of and you can submit them to the assignment that I will post to your Google Classroom. Okay, so this is your homework. The idea is that I want to listen to you describing three of these jobs. Now, let's move to the activity book. And where is the activity book? Okay. Exercise A. Here you have names of nine jobs. You have to match the beginnings of these names to their endings to write the name properly. So how to do it? For example, number one, business. Okay, Dima, I will tell you how to send. I, I know, I know you asked me how to upload files to Google Classroom and I know it. I will tell you how, okay? Now, exercise A uh, of your activity book. Uh, you have, uh, you're welcome. You have these words, which are not incomplete. They are names of jobs and you have to complete them. So business, number one, business goes with which one of these? How to complete it? Yes, women. So it becomes business women. Right? Business women. Number two, engine E double E R. And so it becomes engineer. And number three, Aki. goes with tact so it becomes architect not architect architect now number four p which one of this pi lot pilot pilot it becomes pilot yes and you know where is the pilot. Number five, mechan. Yes, mechanic. Exactly. Where is the yes? And what else? We have den, dentist, yes, exactly. And number seven, fire, fire, fighter, fire, fighter, right? Yes. And now number eight, T, teach. Teacher, just like me. And now number nine. Number nine. Doctor. Doctor. Okay, so that's it for this exercise. Now, 
Um, let us watch and listen to these people who are met in the street and they are telling us about their jobs. So let us watch them. What's your name? Nona. What do you do for a living? Uh, customer service, telecommunications. Is that your dream job? No. <laughs> if you had something else to do for a living, what would it be? Not working in corporate America, doing something that made a difference in the world. And what do you do for a living? I'm a registered nurse. And is that your dream job? No, I dream of flying F-16 fighter jets. That would be my dream job to be a pilot. What do you do for a living? I'm a hairdresser. Is that your dream job? No. What, what would your dream job be? Uh, to have a restaurant, be a chef. Awesome. You must be a great cook. I think so. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I own a construction company. And is that your dream job? No. Professional beach volleyball is my dream job. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a project manager. Da, da, ba, ba. <laughs> and is that your dream job? Absolutely not. My dream job's being a full-time mum. And what do you do for a living? I work as a project manager in a software company. Is that your dream job? No, but I'm too old to be a football player now. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. Is that your dream job? No. <laughs> what would your dream job be if you had one? I'd like to be an explorer, discover other unknown islands. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a research nurse manager. I work in genetic research and I uh, run projects for our organisation. Is that your dream job? Uh, my dream job? No, not really. My dream job would be to help people um, live a healthy lifestyle. What do you do? I work for a chemical company. And is that your dream job? No. What would be your dream job? Uh, owning a, uh, a hamburger joint. What do you do for a living? I'm a park ranger. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a dream job. It is pretty cool. I really, I really enjoy it. And I, I really uh, am uh, uh, lucky to, you know, have a job in these days. But, uh, but I also really love what I do. So I'm, I'm very lucky. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a veterinarian. Another cool job. <laughs> yeah, we did well. <laughs> I do enjoy it. If, is that your dream job? Uh, it's tough. Um, it's close. It's a lot of it's a lot of heart wrenching. So it's a little hard on me, but I do enjoy it. I don't think I'd trade it in for anything else. So if you had a choice to do anything else, what would you do? Maybe be a permanent volunteer, but I can't afford that. Working with wildlife. <laughs> yeah, I'm working with wildlife rather than cats and dogs. And what do you do for a living? I'm actually a tour guide here. Really? Yeah. Um, I work with a company that works with carnival ships and we take the people around. Today I'm doing a South Beach uh, city tour and some other days I'll do a uh, Everglades tour and then we take them to the airport so it's a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a dream job. It is. It's pretty good. It's only a couple of days a week and it works out perfectly. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a bartender. Oh awesome. Is that your dream job? Um, no, I'm also an entrepreneur so I have little Little side jobs that I do, graphic design, marketing, public relations, that kind of thing. And what do you do for a living? I, I'm a teacher. What do you teach? I teach Spanish and math in an elementary school. Very good. Is this your dream job? Yeah, yep, yep. Great. And what do you do for a living? I'm a journalist. And is that your dream job? It is, actually. As you heard, um, if you pay attention, paid attention to how they are asking them about their jobs. So, how to ask someone about their job? You should say, "What do you do for a living?" or "What do you do?" And this is how to ask somebody about their job. You cannot ask them, "What is your job?" This is. It sounds rude. So you should say, what do you do for a living? And this is how you ask people about their jobs.
Now, let us move back to the activity book and do exercise B. Here in exercise B, you have to answer these questions. Unfortunately, we are not in the classroom right now. So we will do it in this way. You have these questions and let us answer them. So question number one, who works in an office? Who works in an office? Give me a name of a job in which the person works in an office. What do you think? How to answer this question? Who works in an office? Okay, maybe, maybe an engineer. Okay, a businesswoman, yes, exactly. Or uh, you can say an architect, maybe he also works in an engineer, uh, sorry, in an office. And we have, for example, an office manager. He also works in an office, right? Now, number two, who writes articles for a newspaper? Who writes articles for a newspaper? A reporter, yes, a reporter. A reporter writes articles for a newspaper. Now, number three, who wears a uniform? Who wears a uniform? A pilot, yes. A pilot wears a uniform. Exactly, yes. Now, number four, who corrects mistakes in articles? Exactly, editor, an editor corrects mistakes in articles. Now, number five, who takes, who takes care of sick people? Yes, a doctor, so a doctor, they, or a, for example, nurse, yes, exactly. Uh, they take care of sick people. Number six, who takes care of other people's teeth? Who takes care of other people's teeth? Dentist, yes. A dentist is someone who takes care of other people's teeth. Now, number seven, who repairs cars? Who repairs cars? Mechanic, yes, a mechanic repairs cars. Yes, exactly. Now, number eight, who works in a shop? Works in a shop? A shop assistant, yes, or maybe a shopkeeper, right? Now, what else? Number nine, who brings food to your table in a cafe? Who brings food to your table, table in a cafe? A waiter, yes. A waiter. So, lesson one. We have we have different descriptions of different jobs, occupations. Uh, and that's it for today. It's a light lesson in which you. Uh, we have a newcomer. Okay. Can you hear me now?
Okay, yes, that's a great. So lesson one of unit six, it speaks about these um, different jobs and their descriptions. And we read, we read them, we listen, listen to them. Uh, as I told you, your homework is to choose three jobs out of these. And, and okay, you can write a description of these jobs, but I want you to record, to make, I mean, to make a voice recording of you reading or speaking about these descriptions, right? So that's it for today. Let me just take your names before we leave. Who is iPhone Zaid? Okay, Abdurrahman Shamil, Dima Fawaz, Sidra Sinan, who else? Sidra Bashar, Yusuf Oz, Zainab, Daoud. Dalal Amir. Usama, Sidra Abdul Salam. Welcome, Sidra Abdul Salam. And that's it. So thank you for joining this lesson. And don't forget your homework. And if you have any question, you can ask me anytime you want. And see you next time.